Hello everyone, it's me Luz Controy and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to apply, how to do a soft flash transition to your video, which is pretty simple and if you have like electronic beat song, it will make it look nice. And I'm going to show you how, how different it is from the flash preset that Sony Vegas comes with. So first let me show you an example. As you can see here, the difference between the flash transition preset that comes with, with Sony Vegas and this one is that one just controls the, the brightness. It will make everything fade to white, but this one will, will be changing the coloring and the brightness itself. So, which makes it look nicer and it's much softer than that one. Having said that, now we can proceed to our tutorial. Now let's assume that we have this part of a song. We have two beats, one right here and one is right here. We want to apply soft flash transition at those points. So first we need to mark the beats. So exactly right here. And right here. Okay, then we we import our footage um, let's say let's take this part press tab to import the video only without the audio drop it on your timeline and a new video track will be created let us start from the beginning and then stop here. Now we look for the second footage and then we can apply our our flash. Now come over here to event effect then apply this one Sony HSL adjust double click then OK so you will see that nothing has changed you can see that we, we can control the three parameters right here. We can control the saturation of our colors and we can control the luminance. We will not need this one, we just need the saturation and luminance. We need our transition to start with high saturation and high luminance. Then we use this animate button and come over here like for after 10 in fractions of a second and return it back to the default values which are 1 and 1 and 0 so what it does exactly is that at this point which is right here our the value of saturation and luminance will be 2 then it will drop until it gets to the default values right here so if we play back to check what was going on you can see that the values change very quick depending on your how long your beat is you need to adjust the second keyframe so let's take it to to, uh, to 20 fractions of second and you will see now that our flash transition will be slower. We need, I think we need to move it 10 more fractions. Another 10 more. Okay. Okay, looks good. But you can see that we have it's just like cutscene. We need it, we need this footage to come smoother than that. What we can do is that come over, select this clip, come over here to the edge, and drag it like mm, two frames, and bring this one up. Drag it for two more frames. 
and then come over here to the corner let it fade and this one as well take this one down we don't need this video track so we just delete it so you can see here that the transition became smoother sometimes the flash is too soft we need it to be a bit harder we can copy these two keyframes and then add another HSL adjust effect come to animate button select the first keyframe then paste so we doubled everything by that wow looks cool and something I like to add is I like uh, usually I like to add some noise you will see why now because it will look this way which is in my opinion sorry because usually I like to and usually I like to add one more thing which is the noise so we come over here to event effect add noise double click then ok and you will see how our footage changed so let's say that we need to start it with this value or mm, ok 0.4 I think it's fine there is nothing such as right or wrong you just add whatever you think is nice so then let it drop to zero at the same point or maybe earlier so the value of our noise will be changing from 0.4 to 0 now let's play back and see how it looks with some noise looks nice but we added too much noise we can change the value to let's say about to 0.15 okay I think it's a bit too low so 2.5 and by the way this flash will look even nicer if we have the bright footage like this one if you have a song with like fast beats and electronic beats it will look nice and you can see how how quick you can do such a transition so I hope that you learned something from this tutorial as I said I'm going to start a series I call it uh, I will call it ASMV making starting in like after 20 days when I finish my final exams so don't forget to show me what you have tried post it as a video response so it's me control peace